morning guys and welcome to Malaysia. We're here in Malacca this morning after what was a massive 20 hour travel day yesterday. We've got two weeks here in lovely Malaysia. We're going to be exploring Malacca, KL, um, Penang, Langkawi. We're really excited for our trip and we hope that you come along and join us on all of our adventures for the next two weeks. It's kind of all very much in Malay, so we're not quite sure what we've ordered. But um, we know that roti chanai is a traditional Malay breakfast, so we're going to try some of that and some pulled tea. So hopefully we get what we've asked for. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Lovely place, lovely friendly staff, and I got lovely flour this morning from the people that were making the, <laughs> the offerings for the the Indian flower arrangements, which is very cute. Our first roti chanai, which is roti with eggs. Roti chanai chalua, I think it was. Ooh, with eggs. <laughs> it's damn hot. Um, you get this lovely curry sauce to put it in. One's roti with cheese, and this one's the roti bomb, which is the bit sweeter one. So we'll have that one last. We had that last time we came to Kale, and it was amazing. This is the place that we ate at, Restaurant Saravana, here down in Little India in Malacca. Amazing food, lives up to the hype, so definitely come out here and check this place out for breakfast. Loving the vibe here in Malacca already. Such a vibrant place, so many colours and smells. We just had breakfast in Little India, which was just amazing. Like, the smells in that place just blow your mind. Absolutely amazing, the music, just the, the joy of the Indian people here, it's just amazing. We're just making our way down to um, Red Square here in Malacca, but um, yeah, it's just so cool. This is Malacca, guys. Originally a tiny little fishing port. It was actually colonised by the Dutch for over 180 years. So it was one of the longest colonised Dutch colonies and um, as evidenced by the architecture and the lovely um, vibe here. But um, yeah, we're just about to head down to Red Square, which is the Dutch Square, and um, we'll show you what that's about. But beautiful place. How cute is this street? All that's beautiful red facaded buildings. The fancy tri shores that they have here in Malacca. I've never seen anything like them in my life. They're so detailed with all their little. This one's got Disney characters. This one's got some Spider Man going on. Apparently, it's about 50 ringgit for 45 minutes. So that's about, I don't know, $15 or so for a 45 minute ride. Here we have the Queen Victoria Fountain, very much the centrepiece of the square here. Just meandering through this Malacan town by the water here. It's really pretty. It's a lovely cool breeze. And um, we're heading down towards um, some ruins of a big ship, which is really cool. This is a replica of the Portuguese ship, the Flora de la Mar. 
Um, it was sunk in the waters off, La, off Malacca on its way to Portugal. The replica is 34 metres high and 8 metres wide. It is huge. So you can actually go up onto the replica and it is 20 ringgit each for adults if you are a non-Malaysian citizen. So we've decided to pay the 40 ringgit and go and have a look. great view from up here on this viewing platform. You can see all of the river. Nice views over Malacca. And uh, we saw last night that this place really comes alive at night. So we'll definitely come back down to this river area tonight and show you guys how beautiful it is. But at the moment, we're going to go have a look at this beautiful ship. There's Pete. They're climbing up the rigs. Wait. <laughs> the ship as well which is pretty cool so when you go down and have a look there's a really cool museum inside and some information on the history is more than meets the eye when you see it from the outside because you can actually walk right through it. Um, so for the 20 ringgit each, I think it was well worth it. It's got three floors, so you can go right down to the bottom. It's nice and air conditioned in here, which is a great repeat from outside. And there's the whole history of the Portuguese occupation of Malacca, which lasted for over 130 years. So that only came to an end when the Dutch intervened and then the Dutch were ruling Malacca for another 180 years. So, you know, did they just exchange one one occupation for another. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting to come down and um, have a look at all of the history here because we don't know a lot about the history of um, Malaysia and particularly Malacca. made our way up St Paul's Hill up to this old ruined church up on the hill. Lots of stairs to walk up and it's rather hot now um, but yeah it's really interesting up here and these are all seem to be depicting gravestones because some of them say here laid to rest is such and such so very interesting. banana leaf restaurant. We just walked past, it's about lunchtime and we thought before we go any further that we might just pop in and grab some food. So we have gone for some Indian again and we're getting some um, chicken biryani on banana leaf and an iced coffee and an iced tea. Sounds good. Here we've got our beautiful chicken biryani which is with a chicken rice Indian style with a crispy papadum. And each of these were 15 ringgit, which is $5 each. But look at the size of that, like, it's huge. <laughs> and um, our two iced drinks were only about 250 ringgit each. So there's a meal for less than, what, $13 or so. 
Um, so yeah, we're happy to um, dig in and have a bit of a try of this. And there's a bit of coleslaw or something. <laughs> Our lunch at the banana leaf restaurant, which was our lovely chicken biryani, was very nice. If not a little bit spicy for Pete, so he says his mouth is burning and <laughs> didn't quite eat at all because it was quite filling. Um, but yeah, definitely pop on down to Little India and get yourself some nice Indian food while you're here in Malacca. Just walking along the riverfront now, these are the um, bars and restaurants that I was looking at earlier today and where we came down last night and had a quick little bite to eat. It was very popular at night time and quite loud. You can see the Dutch influence in the little shop fronts along this side of the river. This beautiful colourful street just off the river where we were walking before. All of the buildings along here have got these beautiful colourful murals on them. And every so often there is a Dulux advert, so we're assuming it's sponsored by Dulux or something similar. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. And um, there was this lovely old fella down there who's a, um, an artist who was just talking to me. the famous Jonker Street area where they have the um, night markets on the weekend. It's um, part of Chinatown I'm assuming. I tried to come down here last night to have a look at the market but it was just so busy and we were so tired that we just couldn't deal with the people. So we're just going to have a quick look down here. Even Malaysia knows what Krishi likes. That goes. No, no. This place is a little bit madness. But um, this looks nice. place really comes alive as the sun goes down. Everything is lit up. You got lights in the trees, lots of neon. We noticed this last night when we came in that there was a lot of um, neon lights on everything. So once it gets a little bit darker, we'll see a little bit more. But it's already starting to look very, very pretty. I'll walk over here, I'll show you the riverside. Now as it's getting a bit darker. How pretty is that? It's just beautiful. How cool does the windmill look at night time? The famous Jonker Street night market here in Malacca. It is Saturday night and a lot of people come to Malacca from Singapore for the weekend. Um, we were going to go and have a look but it is extremely busy and the road is not very wide so you're not going to be able to move very well. 
we've just decided to walk around the outside of the market instead. <laughs> We're walking down the outside streets. If we see something that takes our fancy, we'll just pop in and have a look. Look how colourful the trishaws are at night time. How beautiful does this look at night time? Just walking down along the riverfront here. You can also get these river cruises at night time which look really cool, you can see a lot. Looks really awesome lit up at night. our first day here in Malacca, Malaysia. We've um, had some fun tonight exploring the local area. I'm going to try not to get run over. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just part of the fun and the chaos, hey? So join us tomorrow as we do some more explore exploration of Malacca and um, see what else we get up to. Good morning. Welcome to day two here in Malacca and we've popped down to Chinatown. We're going to check out this lovely temple behind us. We're gonna go for a wander through the flea market. And so that was the flea market. Hey babe. <laughs> Someone's camera shy today. This is the wedding chamber area. This is the marital bed. Uh, this one? Yeah. Then carry by this one? Yeah. And then this that one. one. Uh. So, take two. We actually got the wrong bus. <laughs> Didn't realise until someone went to sit in our seat that it was the wrong one. Hey guys, we've made it to KL. So we came down into the Lot 10 food area. Pete and I have been coming here since 2011 when we first came to Kuala Lumpur for the first time. 